Hey guys, Fast from X Force again with Scott from North Lakes, and we are bringing you some seriously cool stuff today. Uh, something a bit different in the sense we've been getting a lot of requests in the past for when are you guys gonna get some revolvers, <laughs> and we got revolvers now. We got quite a few revolvers, and uh, these are from SRC. What did I say that was? Something Rainbow Company? Yeah, Star Rainbow Star Company. Uh, I think I prefer SRC. Yeah. So SRC is an airsoft manufacturer uh, that started in Taiwan uh, around the early 90s. Uh, they started as a wholesaler, blah, blah, and they basically moved into the manufacturing. Uh, now, thanks to these guys, we've got some very, very, very nice, uh, very well made, very well made revolvers. So, starting from that end, don't you start that end. Actually, actually no, because you put the little ones in the middle, man. Hey, you're messing yeah. me up. So, we've got 2.5 inch, two four one. inch, yep. uh, two and a half, 2.5, four inch, and the big long. Six inch, baby. It's half a foot long. You know, when you want it black, or if you want it shiny. <laughs> nice and long, <laughs> you know me, I like to do a wheel, man. But I, there's no way that's gonna happen. So, I do like the shiny one, I'm sorry. It's just pretty. They're nice, but my OCD kicks in, and I've gotta clean it. I know, I know, I'll be like that. So it is shiny, it is pretty, but Fingerprints do show up quite the, quick on these. The uh, tooling marks on that is really, really nice. Yeah. Apart from my fingerprint on it. These, it's kind of hard to sort of, sort of, sort of I, I've seen them in pictures and I was like, and yeah, it looks all right. When you handle them, different story though. It just feels really nice. It makes and you feel like Dirty Harry. It does make you feel like Dirty Harry. Actually, this is definitely the first thing I'm like, oh yeah, Dirty Harry style, baby. Uh, but the one thing that really got me, the one, the thing about revolvers normally that wasn't really uh, my cup of tea was a lot of them. The grip was really wobbly and just a hollow, lightweight plastic. Yeah, this is actually really solid. Like it, it's not that it's solid; it's, it's hollow, but it's it just feels. It's got a good body to it. Yeah, so it doesn't rattle, and it's not like you, when you handle it, when you grip. It just does, it feels nice and firm mm. and solid. The whole thing just feels really nice. It's not overly heavy, like I've handled some of the Wells revolvers, for example, they're really heavy. And this looked heavier, and then when you hold it, it's like it's, it's not as heavy as I was mm. expecting it. So, very nice. But I mean, the finish uh, is something else to behold. Like, you, you gotta see it. Now, the beauty of well, uh, we'll get to that one in a sec. Uh, the beauty of these things as well, the shells, uh, take them out. Shells are in that one. They're in that one. But, oh, I just want to pull them out so you can have a look. I will actually bring you guys closer to have a proper look at these. because The shells, they're brass. They are just absolutely beautifully made. Um, so definitely remember stopping things. These do look pretty damn legit yeah like these look legit they look really nice um, space there for your gel uh, mm. with these though just remember you got to run the ultra hard gels don't bother with anything else do. it'll blow them apart from what I hear mm. um, and I've heard yeah the AKs or the ultra elites go very nice and then you can just basically put them and cup them in and off you go. You do get a speed loader with that, so you can whack them in there, and then uh, you twist and it holds, and then when you go to whatever, you just twist and release it. Um, so that's an option. Um, so with each one, you get your shells, speed loader, and you get instruction manual, which has Pretty colorful pictures. It's glossy. Yeah. It's very nicely done, um, and it shows you the different 
uh, size and shows what you can do with your six inch yeah. too. Yeah, and it shows you how to load, shows you how to put your, uh, your stuff on, and yeah. shows you, gives you all the parts. Uh, so that's very nice, very nice addition, and it's in English. Awesome stuff. Um, and it comes with a, the lockable hard case as well. Yeah. So, $2 hard lock, whatever, you meet all current Queensland legislation. Beautiful stuff. So, awesome for taking it to the field uh, mm -hmm. and back. Uh, general storage as well. Yep, general storage at home, whack your padlock on and thanks for coming. So really good to see this sort of stuff coming through. Yeah. Um, we've got them on online um, and price range they're from 350 to 400 just under short about 399 for the long, uh, 350 for the two and a halfs. And then I think it's 375 or something like that for the for the four inch. Um, so price, I think, cool. is pretty good. You're talking about you know, Taiwanese quality. Taiwanese quality with with some real, you know, some really nice finish. Uh, even on the black, normally the black sometimes are a bit eh. How you doing? It's a really nice finish. You can still see the tooling marks in yeah. your, your cylinder as well. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. So. Um, so yeah, with that, typically just push that little button there and that drops your cylinders. And then if you pull that back, that is your safety. So in the middle, you're good to go. All right, and getting to your cylinder to, to so this is CO2 by the way, not green gas. So CO2 little, little cylinders, 12 gram. Uh, non-threaded so to get in the in there you literally just see that's good having the double because with the the wells one it was a only your left side would mm. actually slide up so I hated I'm uncoordinated if you don't know <laughs> um, I would have a, a cow of a time putting these back on mm. so just that makes it so much easier that's probably why it feels so solid as well, yeah. is because it's drawn along the back, back strap. Yeah. So. so if you're holding it, holding it with your right on there, so your bulb's gonna go through this side, so through your left side. Under your safety. Yep, under your safety, whack that in, and then you just turn this little uh, screw. screw in. So you just turn it until it's sort of just you can feel the the tension and then you just quickly basically turn it cracker in yeah cracker in once it just you feel that crack yeah yeah <laughs> and then bang lower that and you're good to go um, of course after you put your gels in the shells so very easy very simple um, there tell the players at home about the range all right we'll get to the, we'll get to those um, I was going to actually get to um, what our tech here was calling unlimited ammo. <laughs> oh, it's funny that one. But I mean, it might have a, it might have a um, something there because he reckons if you're running it like that and yeah. you got your speed loader, you could literally yeah, it works. load them while you're on the go. So if you're on the field, because I was thinking, who really would run one of these on the field? I mean, you got six shots for crying out loud. Then I've got to pull these shells out, sit there, pop, 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 put them back in. And by that time, I think the game's finished. Yeah. No, these Quick guys are basically up, just speed load, a pistol speed load in hand, shoot, shoot. So you're basically loading it, reloading it as yeah. you're going. That's pretty smart. So keep that one in mind. Try it out, guys. I haven't because I'm too lazy. Uh, but um, yes, yeah, serious. I'm on it. I'm straight up, man. So yeah, my only thing when I get when I get a revolver in the hand, I'm sitting there going, yeah, you know, I'm I'm ready to start. Thank <laughs> God it's a toy. Uh, this is guns don't kill people. No. People spinning it on their finger. Yeah, people. slap it on your head. <laughs> Idiots kill people. <laughs> anyway, um, so. They are good fun. <clears throat> what Scotty was trying to get to, 
um, is this. So with every six inch, you get these. So these guys don't have it, the shorter ones don't, but the six inch, now the six inch gets rails there. You've got a nice long rail that goes at the top there, so you've got your screws already set out, and you do get your Allen key, and your screws are already in the rails, so you literally just put them on, Allen key, screw it on, take them off, so you've got a long one for up the top, and a short one for down the bottom, and you can... A-cog it? A-cog it. Ugh. Something smaller maybe, but if you really want to, I mean, you've got a big pistol yeah, and you want something big. You know. Yeah, all right. Whatever tickles your fancy, pal. Find something you like, run it. <laughs> <laughs> it starts looking like uh, the Star Wars uh, pistol. Mm. Han Solo, eh? Yeah. So, really cool having the rail as well. Just offers that little bit of uh, extra something, something for you guys. All right, so yeah, I mean, these are, uh, they're pretty simple. There's not a lot to talk about. Uh, full metal, I will point out, like, full metal, cool. except for that grip. So, literally... Very sturdy grip, though. Yeah. In, in there, I don't know if the rest of... You know, that's kind of, it does have some weight or something there. But most of that's all... It's all plastic, but like I said, a very, very strong, good quality polymer uh, grip. So you won't know whether you know, it's metal or not half the time, because yeah. just you don't want that metal because it's going to get too hot. But I mean, the rest of it, very solid, very well finished. This mm. is this is some beautiful Sleek quality paint. finish uh, on this revolver. So. I always say, come down, have a look. That don't hurt. Um, it hurts when you start buying. Uh, it just hurts your pocket. That's when you start getting shot with it. <laughs> or when you get shot. These shoot hard. So be careful where you're pointing and who you're shooting and where you're shooting. Um, safety glasses at all times. Safety at all times, for sure. If you have um, cosplay, you can also go like a 38, 357 and a 44. Mm. So uh, kind of a Smith & Wesson design. I'm going to bring you guys closer, you can have a look, because uh, they're definitely worth uh, that nice close-up. And then we'll go and uh, shoot a couple, because that's what we do. Alright, so that one's been touched a little bit, that chrome's been a bit affected, we, you know. I get a bit... Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go clean it again. Yeah, I have to go clean it again, but... As you can see, it is it is a beautiful, beautiful finish. That chrome is just gorgeous. And it's got a set of rails and the gels, and the gels, the shells. <laughs> it's late. He's it's tired. late. And I think this one we've actually even put a uh, a CO2 cylinder. cylinder in there. So I'm actually. It's not loaded. I just want to heat, show you guys the. Oh yeah, it sounds cool, man. It's a nice thump. It's a nice thump. There's People a fair will bit of. People their hits. There's a fair bit with with the real. There's a fair bit of that gas coming out. So just so you know. And that, that black. Look at that. Look at that finish. That is absolutely gorgeous. It's very smooth. Very smooth indeed. Stealth bomber black. And as Scotty was saying about the tooling mark on that, like, look at that. You see it wow. a lot easier on the the silver, but oh, just no, to see it black. on the black it comes up really nice. Mm -hmm. You can really spot that. It is just mint. That one's got the, the shells already. I want to clean this first. Good to go. Now he decides to clean it. <laughs> I just saw a reflection. I'm like, damn it. That's <laughs> You don't tell me. Yeah, if you see on there. Oh yeah, look at that tooling one. Oh yeah, just beautiful. But even in the chrome, like some of the chrome ones that I've seen before, they were pretty. Eh. Yeah. 
This thing's just beautiful. Great stuff. Funny company name, beautiful craftsmanship. That's right. SRC sounds all right. Then. Yeah. Thank you, SRC, for uh, giving us some uh, more good-looking gel blasters. Some dope revolvers. Yep. All right, let's go shoot these puppies. Hey, guys. Vass back with the big uh, SRC revolvers. So I've got a little two and a half, four, and six inch big black boy. Um, but I'm gonna start with the little fella. Because, you know, you gotta give the little fellas a go. So I've got six rounds in each, uh, but I'll shoot one or two just for fun, and then I'll chrono the rest. All right, so. Don't forget with these, uh, your safeties, eh? That was accurate! I got bullseye! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. So, uh, with these though, you got to remember that they spray a lot of gas. So, just keep your distance. Keep back. On a chrono. On a chrono. I did get an 800. That's <laughs> definitely the gas. But the 330, 308. But 3, 329, 330 is kind of where it's at. There you go. So, little guy, 330. Pretty good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can still use it at most indoor fields. Still usable. Yep. Now, mid size or mid range. Chrome four. Are you sure you got gels in that? <laughs> yeah. All right. show you a proper, I mean that still gave me kind of a 3 thing. <laughs> One, the other two, yes well, let's go with the 330. You gotta keep on your gels, right? So what I've done is I've put the gel down and cupped it with the shell and if it picks it up then it's good. If it doesn't, if it falls out, it's, it's bad. not gonna give you the, the right seal. So. A tiny bit of Vaseline in your shell will help your gel stick as well. Ooh, Vaseline in your gel? Yeah. Alright, so, big fella. Let's see how you perform. Alright. Okay. all the ones that we wanted so it's a bit hard because I've heard these shoot pretty hard so we do have a 362 and a 599 I definitely that 900 is definitely not it I've heard they can do 400s so look I'm gonna give it the 360 370 possibly it could be more be careful shooting inside because that is very loud. Yeah. Ah, yeah. In the echo room, it's... It's loud. It's fun right. old. So, they're also fun though. Um, you know, I'm just here trying to test to make sure, but they're hard to test because like I said, there's a lot of... If you watch that... Can't see it. You can. No. Yeah, you can. Alright, I'm not talking to you. Uh, 
So there's a fair bit of gas comes out to a list about there. So yeah. that will throw your chrono off every time. Um, but awesome little pistols. I mean, uh, I love it. Uh, beautiful. I'm, I do love the revolvers. Not as much as I probably like other pistols, but it's they're just cool. You know, dirty, all dirty, hairy style stuff. Uh, the quality helps as well. It Just does. Just the craftsmanship. I mean, this, this bit here kind of threw me off a little because I was like, eh, it's not really a revolver thing, but they are cool. Once you put the rails on these, actually look really good. So anyway, come on down, guys. Have a look. Trust me, it's, they're worth uh, looking at. Uh, thanks for watching. Leave us some comments, what you think, what you like, what you don't like. Um, remember, stop and think. They come in that beautiful case. Whack it in. Take it to and from. Let's keep uh, let's keep us all safe. And I'll see you guys next time with some more good stuff. Take care.